Hi, my name's Yvonne and I'm a UK Stamping Up demonstrator. And what I'm going to show you today is a little box. And here's the box. And what I'm doing is I've designed this box around these key rings. So I've decided to, these are little stocking fillers for Christmas for people. So I purchased these um, from a virtual Christmas market and I'll put a link below to the lady I purchased them from. Um, so I just think they're really nice little stocking fillers. I just wanted to make the box for them to go in individually. So I've got my piece of card here and it is I'm going to cut it at three and a half inches, which is in centimetres, it is 8.9 centimetres. And then on this side, I'm going to cut it just before the six and three quarter mark. So, so like a millimetre or a eight sixteenth of an inch smaller and in centimetres that would be 15.5, probably about 15 point five, six, seven, probably 15.7 something like that Right, next I'm going to score. So I'm going to score, oops. I'm going to score at three quarters of an inch, which is 1.9 centimeters. I'm going to do that on three sides. Now, before I forget, On this end, I just want to put in a half circle punch. It's just to make it easier for you to open the box, that's all. But if you put it there straight away, then you know this is going, this is your top. Right, the next score line I'm going to do is at two two and three quarters which is seven centimeters then my next score line will be Four and a half cent. Uh, four. And, sorry, three and a half inches, which is eight point nine centimeters. And now the final one at the bottom. So I've done that one, and done that one, and done that one. And we've done those sides and that side, but we haven't done the bottom part. Now on this bottom part, go to your three quarters of an inch and just bring it in slightly. By about, I don't know, a millimetre or a sixteenth of an inch. And that is 
start of your box. I'm just going to close that. Now the colour I'm using at the moment is Cherry Cobbler and what I need to do also is I've got my Classic Christmas DSP and I'm using this one here. I just want to cut this down. doing this under the two inches or just under the five centimeters and that should fit nicely on the box there I want to do that before I got any further I've made these little boxes for my um, six by six DSP and I put on the side what it's called. So the classic Christmas um, has got Cherry Cobbler, Sahara Sand, Shade of Spruce and Whisper White. So I'm just using the Sahara Sand pattern. So you've got that on that side and then you've got dots on the other. Right, so we just need to put it together now. So I'm just going to cut up there and cut up there and then just a wedge just on that side, on the inside where it's going to fold in. Now I'm going to cut up there and I'm cutting up there. Now I'm not going to wedge this yet, I'm just going to cut up the score lines and on this the bottom part again I'm going to cut up and I'm going to wedge this cut up that and then wedge it right so you should have your box there and now I'm going to wedge this on this side only. Turn it around and I'm going to wedge it on there. So I'm leaving that bit straight but I'm wedging those two parts. Right, let's get to make the box then. Just going to line up the edge there. Now because we made the this part slightly smaller it will help when closing. I'm just going to put that there and that there so that comes up to make your box and it comes up. You might need to bend that back a little bit so you can get to it. This is probably not the best um, colour to have started on but never mind. And put a little bit glue on there, a little bit glue on there. With Tombow you don't need to use a lot of great glue. It is sticks really well. You just need to hold it in place, that's all. You can just flip that over. And there you go. Nice little box. And then this little key ring will fit perfectly in there. And then all I need to do is just decorate the top. So I'm going to use that piece of DSP. Pop 
pop it there. And now I can put anything on there that I wish to. So I'm going to find something. I've got a moose punch. So I think I'm going to use this. Um, I don't know what it's going to look like, but we will see. It may not fit. perfect that's really cool now I have got the actual stamp for this so I may actually stamp this one up as I say you can decorate it however you want I just quite like the idea of the moose so I just need to find my stamp which could be interesting because I had a bit of a move round yesterday So this is the Merry Moose, so you've got some trees, parcels and some nice sayings on there. So what I'm going to do is use, just use a darker colour. with I'm going to stamp on the card and then punch it out rather than try and stamp on my mousse lining it up. This is a great thing about these punches. You can see where you're punching. It's a little bit stiff. So that is the little box. So if I wanted to put a saying on there I can do. But I'm just going to put some glue at the back of it. And then stick it on the little box. Now I've only decorated the top, it's not stuck down properly, but you can decorate around the outsides with your DSP or you can put some ribbon around there, it's entirely up to you. Now this box actually closes quite good without putting anything around it but you can put a ribbon around or some um, twine or anything like that but I think that's really sweet I do like that I will put all the links below um, especially to the lady who I bought these key rings from because they are lovely and I'm glad I purchased them and I will also put all the um, products that I've used um, so you'll be able to have a look and my shop. Well, thank you very much for watching and have a nice day. Bye bye.